Good afternoon. Today we will show you the MTS 5800. In the North American market it's called the T-Bird 5800. The MTS 5800 is our smallest analyzer for transmission networks. On the top of the unit you find the connectors to connect towards your network. Port 1, port 2, the power supply connector, the headset for the VoIP applications, an external clock for some SDH testing. Port 1, you see here the Denkik port, the electrical port for Ethernet testing, the SFP port for the SDH fiber channel, Ethernet. Port 2 is only up to 1 gig. The electrical port and the optical port. The MTS 5800 you can use for Ethernet testing, SDH testing, SONA testing, PDH testing, OTN testing, fiber channel testing. Today we will show you 10 gigabit Ethernet testing on the MTS5800. We will use port 1. Port 1 is a 10 gigabit port and you connect a standard XFP into the unit. It can be every kind of vendor that there is on the market. If you Measuring lower rates, you have a dual port, and dual port means on this one port you can measure 1 gigabit Ethernet, for example, and then parallel on the other port. Before we switch on the unit, I show you also the other side of the unit. You find more or less the connectors for remote control, so you can remotely control the tester from a PC in your network, or from a laptop from a field engineer and the USB connectors for connecting USB storage devices to download the test results and the PDF results. Now we are going to switch on the tester by pressing the button on the left side. Today we will set up a tester for 10 gigabit Ethernet. This is the result page where the MTS5800 comes up with. On the test knob you can more or less select your test that you want to perform. Today we will set the test up for 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN, not for a layer 1 but for a layer 2 traffic test. You can go through for multiple streams and layer 3 tests. You can do also multiple streams on layer 3, but today we will do the setup of the layer 2 traffic. By setting this tester up, you see port 1 is now set up for 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN connection, layer 2 and the traffic termination test. Now we go to the setup menu. By pressing the setup button, you will go into the setup from your Ethernet frame. By hitting the tab, we can select if there is encapsulation or non, non encapsulation, VLAN, QMQ, and sticking VLAN. For this example, we're using VLAN. Against the frame size, DIX or 802.3, the random frame size or the frame size that you needed for your test. By Jumbo or user define, you can really define what you want. By hitting a random, you will have a random sequence of different frame sizes. How to set up the VLAN? Just by hitting the VLAN, you see here, you can fill in the VLAN ID, the user priority, and by hitting the type field, you can fill in the type Ethernet frame. But also very important is to select the right frame size for your testing. Lots of testing are done by a random sequence. The next tab, the traffic tab, there you 
decide what kind of traffic load you're sending out. We have several possibilities. In this example, we need a constant stream. But for instance, if you want to use the burst, the burst can really set up a very in detailed in percentage or a frame, what kind of duty cyclers, what frame of frame bursts you want to have, or continuous burst or in separate burst, everything is set can be set up. Filters, if you have the capture functionality to set up, and you can also set timing so that you make your sure in remote that the test starts for instance at 10 p.m. or 4 a.m. Going back now to the results screen, just hitting the button results and you can start testing. You see the laser is still off, so you still can't not do any measurement at all. By hitting the laser off or on, you can put the laser on. You see already there is a sign laser on. Today, in this example, we can't do any tests, we are not connected to any network. For safety reasons, I switch it now off. Setup is done. A quick setup can be done here. The summary res results are really easy to look at. Ethernet results page or a graphical result page. If you say, I want to zoom in, you can hit button and it makes it bigger by hitting the small button on the left side it goes smaller again and by using these soft buttons you can go into different things St stop or start the test RFC 2544 an advanced test or a small test this is the setup of an easy 10 gig Ethernet LAN layer 2 traffic test. How we change now to a layer 3 test? Again, going to the test functionality, 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN, go to layer 3 traffic for instance, IP version 4 or 6, select termination mode, goes automatically to terminate mode. It loads the new configuration in your tester and the buttons like setup, RFC testing is really more or less the same as before. It takes half a minute to set up the standard the setup. You see now here, the setup is a 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN tester, a layer 3 traffic termination. Again, you go to the setup page. And now you not only find the Ethernet tab, but also the IP tab. There you set up your IP protocol, what is needed for your layer 3 test. By setting this up, it is done. Go back to results and you can start your test again. Please do not forget your laser set off. So easy is to set up a 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN connection on layer 2 or layer 3 tests. Thank you very much for your patience and your time.